120 CHP officers, 300 cameras coming from Caltrans. This will be very helpful to ensure that we keep our community safe. More cameras and CHP officers are coming to Oakland. It's all an effort to combat the growing crime problem in the East Bay. Good afternoon, I'm Kristen Z. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. 120 additional CHP officers will be heading to parts of the East Bay, including Oakland. That's a 900% increase in CHP officers in the area. It's an effort to crack down on crime, including retail theft, vehicle theft, and violent crime. ABC 7 News reporter Leslie Brinkley has Oakland's response to the news. In August, the California governor assigned six extra police officers to Oakland. Today, he announced he's sending 120 more after 2023 crime statistics show violent crime in Oakland is up 21%, robberies are up 38%, and car thefts are up 45%. For the governor to assign us 120 highway patrol officers, uh, I am in complete support of that. And I've asked for even send me the, uh, the National Guard if you have to. The governor's statement described the effort as a targeted law enforcement surge operation to crack down on crime. OPD is working with CHP on the actual date for the rollout and the plan. However, you know, we can see it as soon as in a week, I would say, you know, um, but of course we are going to be able, we need to actually work together to layer on the services so that we can you know, utilize all the services that we can get from CHP. The governor's office indicated that could include the actual deployment of long promised license plate reader technology along with canines and air support. Unfortunately, the, the data is mixed on whether or not having more police officers is going to impact uh, the foundation of what's causing high crime. I don't care how many police officers you bring in, you know, police can't be everywhere. Without a top cop, you don't have a vision for law enforcement in the city. I'm hopeful that with the new March deadline from the police commission, that they will forward me stronger applicants. You know, during the traffic stops, if you are speeding, if you are running red lights or what have you, they'll be able to do the traffic stops. They will also be in key corridors, like our Hagenberger corridor, where the airport is at, and our business districts. The mayor says this infusion of 120 CHP officers will focus not only on Oakland, but on neighboring communities here in the East Bay. I'm Leslie Brinkley, ABC 7 News. All right, joining me now is ABC 7 News insider Phil Mateer. Phil, this is a huge injection of uh, personnel, 120 CHP officers in Oakland and are in the East Bay. Let's begin with what that means exactly out on the street. Well, it's unprecedented, Dan. You usually don't see this sort of increase in highway patrol officers in the city unless there's some huge Super Bowl or APEC type or, or a disaster or uh, a riot, or something like that going on or massive demonstrations. To deploy them to a city simply to try to assist the police in dealing with daily crime is unheard of in these numbers. Now, there were CHP officers assigned to San Francisco, and they still are, to help curb the fentanyl crisis. And state intelligence officers from the National Guard are cooperating in that effort. And they've made several arrests and made some sizable seizures of drugs. In the East Bay, they've already had six CHP officers there. They have resulted in uh, over 100 arrests and the recovery of 200 stolen vehicles. This one is going to be on the streets with Oakland police officers. We're going to have canine units. We're going to have helicopter units. They're going to be helping not only with the crime, but also keeping an eye on the area. You know, it's interesting that as we talk about what they're going to do specifically, Phil, because we think of the highway patrol, they are kings of the freeway, right? They're not the surface right. street law enforcement. They look for speeders. They respond to accidents. They do a lot. Exactly. Sort of what are they going to be doing specifically? It's a different set of, uh, of demands to be on the streets as a helping ordinary everyday cops. Well, first of all, they're still going to be on the highways because one of the problems in Oakland and the East Bay True. is the dramatic and terrifying highway shootings that have been going on. The random shooting from cars along uh, 880 and the other corridors, that's got to, they're still dealing with that. They're going to be putting up the license plate readers that are going to uh, tip them off when a car is stolen. And when that they get a word that that car in front of them is stolen, they'll move to pull it over. And unlike Oakland police, 
If that car speeds up and goes away, Oakland police, by the Oakland rules set by their police commission, can't pursue that in a hot pursuit. They have to let it go. CHP is not bound by Oakland rules. And that's a quiet little unspoken deal here that it makes a tremendous amount of difference. When okay. they're on the ground with Oakland cops, they can do things that Oakland cops can't do. You know, that's an unspoken advantage, as you say. That's a great point. Very quickly, Phil, we got about 30 seconds. You know, I, I've heard before, you know, uh, my, my uh, wife's father, who was an attorney, used to say, nothing fights crime better than a black and white, and just the presence uh, of police officers. Is this more than about perception, or will it really make a difference in lowering crime in Oakland and around the East Bay? Well, it's, it is more than about perception. Perception is one or two squads in there. That, uh, 100 plus cops, that is something different. It's long been said, or in recent years at least, that you can't arrest your way out of crime. And many of the politicians in Oakland fervently believe that, that you need to get to the root cause. But at this point, they've got to deal with the symptoms or else it's going to go completely off the rails. Okay, we shall see. Big change. 120 additional CHP officers helping in Oakland and in the East Bay. Uh, Phil, thank you very much. Phil Matier. Yep.